Hello everybody, this is Tekka. In this video, what we're gonna be doing is checking out a brand new Linux distribution called Rizzy OS. Now we're in the system here, a little disclaimer before we get a little bit too deep, the lead developer of this distribution is a dear friend of the channel and actually does some writing and video editing work. So that is just a notice. Thus, I obviously have a clear bias. Now, this is nor a first impression or a long-term review. I've been playing around with this for a couple of days, kind of just getting a feel for the system and some of the differences. Now, this is a Fedora-based Linux distribution. I do believe that this is the very first time I looked at a Fedora-based system that just wasn't Fedora itself. So that is pretty cool. I have very, uh, very high opinions of Fedora as a whole. And anything added to make Fedora even better than it already is, is awesome. Now, first, this is just standard GNOME. It doesn't have too many changes, but just enough to kind of make it a little bit more helpful. One, you bring your cursor down. We got the dock without having to go into our activity view or our workstation view here. And it does have a couple branded applications. If I search up Rizzy, we have Rizzy Welcome and Rizzy Tweaks. When you first boot into the system, you are going to get this. This is your Rizzy Welcome. This is the big beta. So this is a beta release. There's probably gonna be some issues here and there. But what's really impressive to me, and I love it when distributions do this, I think Endeavor OS does this and a couple of others, is the little first step section. You can see I only have a couple options because I went through and did a lot of these. This has a lot of the steps that are, for example, in my what to do after installing Fedora video, including enabling RPM Fusion, installing the video drivers if necessary, and it does properly detect if you do have an NVIDIA GPU or not to actually display that. And I will kind of show on the screen now a lot of the options that you can get with this. But for example, you see I still have available set up Flathub and options to launch the GNOME software and install web apps, which we will dive into in just a sec. Uh, for example, if I want to launch setting up Flathub, it opens up a little thing called Rizzy Script, which is kind of just a uh, graphical interface for Bash scripts. It gives you some information such as the properties, what's required, various dependencies, what version it is and all that. If I just go next, type in our password, it's gonna go ahead and run through everything and we can see the script was ran successfully. So we hit okay. And for now I'm gonna go ahead and reboot later because I don't think it actually needed to install that. And then after first steps, we have a thing called quick setup. What this is is just a list of packages that you could go ahead and install. For example, video production right here, if I were to launch this, so it would open up Rizzy script again, which here you can see it sets up environment for video production. If I go next here, it gives me options if I want to install OBS, audio editor, so if I want to install Audacity, GIMP, and then I can pick whatever video editor from here, and it will just go ahead and grab all the software that I would be using anyway, so that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna do that for now. Another example would be gaming. If I go ahead and launch this and go next, you can see some of these options. Steam is the only one on by default, but in addition, we have GOG, Epic, a whole bunch of different launchers, some tools such as PolyMC, which is a excellent launcher for Minecraft. I agree with that. Uh, Discord and a whole bunch of other things that you would just associate with gaming. And then of course there's other categories. We're not gonna dive into absolutely everything. You should kind of go through and uh, discover that for yourself. Additionally, there's join communities so you can follow them on socials and then contribute to Rizzy OS. Now it's from there, I want to go to Rizzy Tweaks. This is pretty cool. Um, even with my bias, I do have to say that I do wish the uh, general design of this kind of matched better with like, uh, if I open up extensions, here we go, kind of matched up with what you'd expect from like GTK4 applications, but this is an earlier version, so we might see that change in the future. Here, we have a lot of options. We have appearance, so we can enable disable animations. We have accent colors, so that's pretty cool. Has some notes here, and I, I think I actually enabled this through experiments, so I installed Rizzy Tweaks Next, which gave me the, uh, the theming support here. So that's one thing I kind of already was diving around and playing with, but if I go ahead and like switch this to purple, for example, and then close out this application, open up Rizzy Tweaks once again, you can see it's now using purple accent colors. So that's purple, the little switch right there's purple. Uh, pretty cool, you have some other theming options, a bunch of different font options. If we go to layout, you just have some general switch options for the uh, GNOME layouts and desktop environment. You have some mouse and keyboard settings here, including some touchpad settings. If I go over to Windows, you have really strong control of what the windows do. And over here under the uh, title bar, you can change everything from here. So right now I have this set to Mac OS right, but if I go to like Rizzy right, 
you can see it just gets rid of maximize. So these are just kind of preset templates for how the buttons and all that within your windows are set up. So if I went to GNOME right, it just takes away everything because for some reason they don't give you minimize or maximize. Or I could go like Rizzy left, which throws it over there. But my preference is to have the availability to do just about everything. And from there we have extension control. So you can kind of use this to manage your extensions in addition to the standard extension application. Rizzy script, we kind of saw this earlier with how this kind of gives us a graphical interface for scripts. Now these right here are some installers and I could go through here and like grab Chrome, Edge, whatever I wanted. So let's just grab Edge for example, install app, next, type in our password. And the idea of this in the future is going to be to be able to like run Rizzy script files, which would be kind of cool. But you can see here, it's just running through everything it needs to go ahead and grab Microsoft Edge. And honestly, Microsoft Edge is a very good web browser on Linux. It's probably one of the best uh, PDF viewing applications for a Linux system unfortunately. And there we go. Script ran successfully. So then if I do hit my Windows key and I go to Microsoft Edge, you can see it is there. And while we have this open, let's kind of move on to some of the pre-installed applications. It's not too different from Fedora, but there are a couple things to note. One, only Office is the default, which I personally enjoy. Only Office is awesome. And you saw we have extensions here. If I go into this extensions application, we can kind of see what is going on here. So under built-in, we have case status notifier. We have doc from dash enabled, a removable drive menu, Rizzy GNOME, which is the GNOME shell modifications for this system. And we have the sound input and output device chooser, something that I still don't understand why it's just not a default feature within this desktop environment. So with that, what we're gonna do is dive into the web apps. Now this is cool. This is basically the exact same web app manager that is in Linux Mint, which is a phenomenal application except for that Rizzy OS is incorporating a store, a web app store within this. So this is the application here. And if I do click on store, you can see we have a couple preset applications. And I'm assuming as time goes on, there's gonna be a lot more added. Accessories, you can see uh, some of the Apple stuff. Let's say for some unholy reason, we want to use Microsoft uh, Bing Maps. All I would do is go ahead and grab that. And it kind of just fills everything out for us. So categories, accessories, it's going to open up with the Chromium browser. I could switch that if I wanted to based on what web browsers I have installed. And of course you can make this isolated or a private window. So all I would do is hit okay from there. You can see I have Bing maps. And now if I go ahead, I have to give it a sec. Oh, there it is. Bing, Bing maps. It opens up Bing maps in its own isolated web application here. And I will note these uh, graphical things going on is my uh, virtual machine and not the actual system. And then of course down here, you go ahead and add your own, do whatever you see fit. It's your standard web app thing. Pretty cool. Now, another thing that's kind of cool, there's its own uh, search X instance. So if I go over here, you can see we have Rizzy OS and we could search with Rizzy search, gives us some information. If I hit settings, you could go ahead and uh, change that if you do so see fit. And if I search something up here, so let's search up Tech Hut, you can see it pull up. So that's just one thing. And another thing, which I love it when distributions do this is when they have their own shell script. So this is actually running ZSH. That is another thing that is different from Fedora. Automatically opens up a really nice Neo fetch with their uh, logo here. We can see this is the 5.18 kernel ZSH. I'm using about two and a half gigs of RAM of the eight gigs I gave it. And I've been opening and doing all kinds of stuff. When it comes to resource consumption, it's basically on par with just a regular Fedora install. HTOP isn't here, so let's grab that. sudo dnf HTOP. Oh, not that. sudo dnf install HTOP. One thing to the developer here. Uh, is this okay? Let's change the default to Y, shall we? That's just a personal thing. And obviously you can see when I'm typing, it has its own little uh, custom, custom little design here. So let's go HTOP. And of course it's Fedora. It's gonna be very light on the CPU usage unless if we're doing something heavy. And memory is basically uh, right about where it should be. So again, this is in beta, it's pretty new. So if you have any uh, criticisms, critiques, or if I go over to the welcome again, right there, contribute, contribute code, launch. This right here is the GitHub, which I will be linking to as well as the website, which is right here. It is a Seattle based OS that you can trust. <laughs> so. That's Rizzy OS. I'm excited to see the future development and what is made of it. Um, like I said, this was the very first time I checked out something 
that's Fedora without it being specifically Fedora. So if you have any Fedora distributions or Fedora-based distributions that are worth a look, leave them down below in the comments. Uh, with all that, I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.